Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to go over the new Datatronic 5 settings in the WR9980 windrowers. As you can see, um, it's quite a bit different setup of the screen. Um, most of our windrowers are going to go out where they have the second terminal that's dedicated to the auto steer so that you don't have to scroll back and forth inside the screen like you used to have to do with your C1000. So looking at it, you can see along the top, it's the whole layout is very similar to the Fent 1 system um, where you have your temperatures and your date and your time. Um, it shows you that you have three pages that you can scroll through. You just use your finger, it's touch screen. Up in the top corner, you have your hamburger menu that gives you your overview manager and your system setup. System setup is basically where you can go in, you use your finger here and you can pick what you want for all of your settings. So whether you want metric or imperial, you can see that on all of them. Um, so if you like stuff in, in PSI, but you like your temperature in Celsius, you're able to do that with that. Um, you hit the return button. And if we go to the overview manager, this allows you to change what's on the screen. So in this case, it's slightly different than the Fent. The Fent, you would just drag it and drop it. Here, you have to highlight it. You touch what you want, and then you touch that spot, and you can see it automatically changes it for you. And then you can do that for all three. You can do that for all three of your menus. Um, one thing that it does do is, is the top corner is not changeable. If we hit the return button, you always end up with this engine information in the top left hand corner that square you can't change everything else you have the ability to change down at the bottom of course fuel def and then these are all your warning lights um, different windrowers had them in different places this one is laid out quite nice um, it also has the ability that you can hit that button in the corner there and you get your handle and then it shows you all of the different icons that you can change as far as configuring your handle. That works exactly the same as the older WR9980s and, and some of the 9870s that had the C2100 in them um, as far as how you can configure your buttons in there. So these two sets of buttons are always dedicated. Everything else you have the ability to put in there whatever you want and there of course you you notice how it won't change it there um, you pick what you want you push the you push the button and then you can see how it changed it so when you're finished making your changes there you just hit the return button it will save everything for you the only other question that is probably going to arise from a lot of guys is how do you change the gears uh, because there is no there is no spot where you can see that. What you actually do is you touch right where the P symbol is there. It would normally show you your gear if you were in gear. So you've got your one, two, three, and then if you have rear wheel steer, you have the rear wheel steer icon as well. Um, so yeah, that's the only one that that's maybe a little bit hard to see, but you just touch right on the icon and you get to exactly what you want. Um, other than that, that's the basic overview of the main terminal. We'll do another video that just goes over the auto steer. Hopefully that helps you out. Thanks for watching.